about it. It's been a morning already. I'm having the hardest time getting going and I just lost all of my freckles to when I powdered my face. So I'm putting a few more back on. I'm I'm all about the freckle machine. I call it the freckle machine. It's not really a, the printer, the freckle printer. And uh, I did link it and I found that I overpaid. The link to what I found for this thing is so much cheaper. So if you're interested, it's in the description box below. <laughs> I always feel like such a nerd saying that. Because I'm no influencer, you guys. We all know this. I'm just a person with a YouTube channel. Anybody can do it. It's late in the afternoon and I need to get going. So I feel like I'm in a hurry now because I took forever. The first stop is going to be Sally's. Getting some lashes for the wedding party just to have in my kit because I'm low. Um, I'm going to get some sort of hair stuff to update my hair. I want to get a candle. I need to get kava tea, so I have to stop at the tea place. And then the exciting, most exciting thing that we're going to be doing is looking for a gunny sex dress. And I'll explain more about that in a bit. But that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to a vintage store looking for a very particular type of dress. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing and we're going to get going. I can't take it up here. It's way too hot. This is the dress of the day. It kind of already looks a little bit of the style that I'm going for, which is that 1960s and 70s gunny sex. This dress is actually from Target. It's just a really beautiful summer dress. I've only worn it a couple of times and I feel like this needs to get out this summer before the summer ends. What I was saying about the gunny sex dress is actually gonna be part of the blog post that goes up with this video. So if you wanna read more about it, I'm gonna be doing a lot of explaining of just the gunny sex dress history, where it comes from, how long it's been around for anybody who doesn't know, and that does this new information to you. I've kind of known about it, but I've never really researched it. So this is my dedication to the infamous gunny sex dress and apparently if you find one with a black label that is a more considered rare dress the place i'm going is no stranger to vintage and its pricing so i'm sure they'll know and know how to price it accordingly i'll notice if a dress is, seems more expensive than another one it's probably because it's more rare i'll keep that in mind when i'm looking at the labels but really all it is is going to be <laughs> finding one that fits me all of the dresses from that time they're teeny tiny what were the curvy girls doing? I mean, I know that Marilyn Monroe was considered a curvier size, but it's just like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go look though, and I did when I went last time see some dresses that I felt like had potential to fit me. Let's get going because... There's so many people in this parking lot and the people, I don't, like 50 people just got out of the car next to me. Anyway, we're going to go into Sally's and we're going to go get a candle from TJ Maxx because I'm due for a new candle while we're here and then smoothie time. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I have um, some new music actually I wanted to share with you guys really quick. If you're into like Zoe Deschanel's band, She and Him, which I love, there is a couple of bands that I found that um, remind me of that kind of style of music. And one of them is called The Ravenettes. If you've never heard of them, they're not new or anything. And then Camera Obscura is another one. And then one other one is called The Dip. The Dip Delivers is the, the album that I'm looking at, but it's called The Dip. So if you're looking for like oldies kind of, because she and him, it kind of sounds to me like oldies. She does a lot of old covers. It's that kind of s same style. So if you are looking for new music, there you go. Because I've discovered it from doing a deep dive, trying to find some new music. And a lot of it was just recommendations on Reddit forums. Oh, it's so hot in here. I'm sweating. I'm getting dewy. I'm getting dewier. All right, so let's get what I need and we'll reconvene back here. I already drank my smoothie while I was shopping at Scorpio. I got some sort of like cleansing one. It was like turmeric and ginger. It was very good. I wanted something that made me feel like clean. Like I didn't want to feel heavy or bloated or you know, but I got this. It's a beet juice and it was by request from my husband. So I picked this up for him. I'm actually going to put this in my purse because we are at the Goodwill now. I did not find a gunny sack dress that fit me. <laughs> I found plenty, insert a million photos, of all of the amazing selection of gunny socks dresses that they have there at Scorpio Rising. The thing about it is that their dresses are tiny. And she said, the gal that worked there, that they do have a couple that were like a little bit 
larger, um, but the one that was larger was one of the ones that's really rare. And so it was like $200. Definitely wasn't in the market to be spending that much on a dress for a blog post. So yeah, I found tons of dresses that would have been really cute, but I really didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but they had some pretty rare ones there. Also some other things that I would have liked to look at. So maybe we'll do like a 1950s housewife post. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to find some vintage Tupperware and we'll have fun with that and I'll find some cool interesting historical facts about clothing in that time and we'll do a post sharing that. I really like doing fashion history but I don't like to speak to it like I'm an expert because I'm not. I'm learning it right now as we go. What are the odds that I would find a gunny sacks dress in a Goodwill right now? It's worth a shot. a couple of things but no dice and what are the odds that in August they have the Halloween stuff out and that in my mind when I was looking in the dresses was going to be the only way that I would find one at a Goodwill because Goodwill has started to take their vintage they're saving them for like Halloween so you can't just go to the Goodwill and find a vintage section, which I really wish they would do because I'm fairly certain that they get a lot of vintage donations, I would assume. That's sad that they're like hoarding it. I did get a couple of things. I did get one vintage thing, so that's exciting. I guess we're gonna head home. I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, I am back. Sorry if there's a little bit of a mess behind me, but I'm still packing my makeup kit. I'm gonna go basically in the order of the places that I went. TJ Maxx, this one is the one I want to show you first. Tell me that's not the most beautiful candle. I'm definitely going to be able to keep this as well. So that's another thing too. I feel like when they're more thoughtfully made, you can reuse them more because wouldn't this make the cutest little jewelry holder? I think bracelets would be perfect in here. The brand is called House of Harlow, which I believe if I'm correct is Nicole Richie's brand, House of Harlow. And I just love this little tassel. This was $12. This is like, to me, this speaks to like 1950s, 1960s. It's just very old fashioned. Hobnail is such a vibe. Green glass. And this is my favorite smell. I love the smell of apple. Oh, 1960, look. House of Harlow, 1960. So they are even saying it's from like a 60 nod. And this one actually is so funny because it says Sutton Lodge on it. And I loved it so much because that's my last name. That's my husband's name. So it's my married name. This says Sutton Lodge. So I always like to put this candle in the guest room whenever a guest is coming to stay because it sounds like we're like a little hotel. And this is so cute. It has little trees on it. This one's even better than the last one that we had. It's called Woodland Moss. <laughs> Did you just eat? You just smell like your dinner. <laughs> and then one purely for the sake of seasonal time coming very soon is Harvest Wreath. So this one is going to be pumpkin on it. It's going to be a very festive feeling candle and I just wanted to have it on hand. Thank you. Oh my god it smells like cinnamon and pumpkins. No, oh, it smells so good. I had like three candles. I try not to do the basket thing. So I was holding all three candles. I had no hands left. My phone actually started ringing through my Apple watch and I was like trying to silence it. I didn't have the hands to do it. So I just sat there and rang annoyingly in line. But I saw this on the checkout stands and I just grabbed it because it's a little pumpkin. I know, I know. It'll be here before you know it. This is a heirloom pumpkin hand soap with essential oils. I actually haven't even smelled it. I just grabbed it because it was $5.99. I don't really get pumpkin from that, but I, I don't even know what I get from that, but it's whatever. It's cute and I can refill it and reuse it. And then the next place we went to was the Sally's. All I got was lashes and toner. I was going to dye my hair possibly like a shade lower or a shade like warmer blonde so that I didn't have to keep dyeing it and bleaching it and toning it. Marvin, do you mind? I was going to and I even talked to the gal there and was getting some ideas to seeing what she thought and then I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go with what I do and <laughs> maybe next time I'll do a more blonde look. So just some lashes for the brides. This goes in the kit. Look at that. They made it right in there. It's 
score. She shoots. So I got my kava kava, but I also got a little mini black tea and he was out of the powder that I was hoping for. He ended up making from his own stash of kava, scooped some of his high potent, high potency kava into this and customized it for me. He said this is the strongest kava. Um, kava is a tea, but I would just say fair warning to not overdo it because too much of it will really relax you and it would be the same as like taking a sedative or something and then driving. You just don't want to do it. So you got to be really careful. I can do like one cup basically and then I wouldn't want to do any more than that. But so it'll be perfect. I'm going to go make this tonight and then this is what I got at Scorpio Rising. I will say, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I did not get myself a Gunny Sacks dress. They just didn't have my size. But I did get a dress that to me looks like one. So I think it will qualify for the blog post at least. But look at how beautiful and old school. This looks like something that my mom would have dressed me in when I was really young back in the day. <laughs> like totally could see this as something I would have been wearing as a child. <laughs> But I mean, it's just the style, isn't it? How freaking cute is this dress? So it's a red lacy vintage dress. There's no, oh wait, there is a brand. I'll have to do some research on it, but Lola Hawaii, oh Hawaii. I didn't even know it had a tag on it. So yeah, what a cute dress with all the ruffles on it. Really sheer, really, really sheer. So I'll have to find something that works well underneath it. I'm sure I have a slip or something that would work. One day, basically, I plan on getting my hands on one. It's gonna be the right place in the right time kind of moment. And finally, I went to the Goodwill and I looked, but as I said in the car, no no dice. I didn't expect to see one and I my eyes lit up when I saw the Halloween section because I thought there is hope. I actually might find one. I might, even if it wasn't even in my size, I would at least say I found one out and about in a thrift store that was like crazy affordable. But I did find the cutest little vintage dress in the Halloween section. I love that they put things that I like in Halloween. <laughs> Shelly Michaels, you guys, I have an authentic, authentic Shelly Michaels. Look at that tag, it's so retro. I love this, it's a little off the shoulder. Hopefully it fits, I did the check. You know, you can do the check where you just see if it's gonna fit your waist by going around your neck and this really stretches so it should fit just fine and it's just this lilac color beautiful fabric another see-through dress though man back in the day dresses are really see-through I think that's why slips were just such a thing back then I put this on at the Goodwill so I'll put that photo up here another one that was in the Halloween section I'm like what about this is Halloween but I guess they're thinking if you were going for like punk rock guy <laughs> I don't know it would be a costume but this to me is a normal ass jean jacket and I love that it is um, cropped because I was actually thinking how with dresses I would love to have like one more layer over it maybe in autumn so I could I don't I'm looking for alternatives to the harness I love the way the harness cinches me in and gives me shape and I feel like vests do the same thing so I have a black leather vest that does that but I was thinking jean would be a lot more casual so this will be something that I can use instead of harness to crop and give me that more shape that I want from dresses very cute and then the final things is these two pairs of socks that look like Chuck Taylor shoes I just think they're so funny they look like Chuck they were a dollar 79 they actually had a lot of colors and I was like do I need to do I need to sit here and grab myself one in every color but I don't know how good they are so I'll try to pair and if I like them and they're still there when I go back I'll grab the red ones and the vanilla colored ones so I'm gonna take some of this stuff downstairs I need to go put my makeup kit together and get it ready for tomorrow and cook some dinner because I'm starving all I've had today is a smoothie and two cups of coffee here are all of the clean brushes I need to get a fan on them just so they definitely get dry should probably get that uh, I think it's upstairs it's good to go for tomorrow I still need to get some alcohol in a spray bottle I just need to find it and spray those off now I just need to find it this is the Anderson school which is a McMinimins restaurant and hotel super cool. I'll have to walk around at some point. But look how beautiful. <laughs> it's very cool. Wow. That was so insane. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to update you guys when I get back. I need to get the hell out of here. I am hungry. We did really good on time, by the way. <laughs> Could this be any louder? <laughs> I just came home to the golf game on for the dogs. I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror. Oh my God, I haven't even talked to you guys about <laughs> my hair. I bleached and toned it, and this is the toner I've been using for years. It's just called Lightest Ash Blonde by Ion. It's the one that's the furthest to the left in the blonde section at Sally's. It goes gray, but it takes the gray, it takes the orange out, so when this fades, it just makes my hair look less orange and I always have to do that after bleaching my roots. So I just touched up my roots and only my roots and then I toned the rest. So I'm really trying to limit the amount of damage that goes on to this hair. Um, so it feels like it's actually in pretty good shape. I was actually surprised when I was driving back, like I was doing this and I was feeling the back of my head and I was like, wow, that feels really nice. Like there's a lot of hair back there. <laughs> so like, I guess I haven't fried it. That was really just amazing. I feel great. I'm so exhausted though. I got up at five, I left here at five 45 so that I could get there by seven because I did have to stop and it was just one after the other so my brushes are a disaster my makeup kit is a freaking disaster I'm really happy with it thought I would update you guys on that but this is what I wore just a black little like professional black dress a little Tory Burch belt I did some press on nails last night as well and then this vintage little undershirt that I love so much that has the rose detail on it. I love the scalloped detail around it as well. It's just so cute. I got a giant family size salad and that's actually gonna be for us for dinner. What I was craving was linguine style Alfredo. That's what I was in the mood for because I haven't eaten anything all day and I burned so many calories just standing that whole time. My stand ring has already been closed out and complete and my activity ring is already complete. So it's really just a matter of exercise. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna have myself this pasta and I'm gonna watch Love Island and I'm gonna get comfortable and I'm not doing shit for the rest of the day and that's what I've decided. Look at that lighting. <laughs> the next day, I got some rest after doing that makeup, actually. Just hung out, watched Love Island, UK. The twists and the turns of this season, mind blowing. I was gonna give you guys a nice close up of this makeup. Did a little bit of like a 70s look because this is all gonna be the content for the blog. Today, we're taking photos of the Gunny Sax dresses and since they came from the 60s and 70s, I figured the makeup should be on point. So this is, I didn't spend too, too much time on it, but enough to get the vibe down. And it's just this like light, pinkish kind of crystally eyeshadow and then I did a liquid over top to just really really make it pop I hope you guys can see that and this is actually just brown eyeshadow it's not a liner and a really fine angled brush and I just did this little whip of a wing and cleaned it up with some concealer to get it to do that so that's the look and then just some liquid lipstick I hope my makeup doesn't melt because it's gonna be like 90 <laughs> I'm hoping we can get to the gardens and that most of it is covered. We're going to a place called Lake Wold, Lake Wold Gardens. It's hard to say. And it's actually a really cool spot that I've just recently discovered that's not too far from here. You pay to get in, so it's kind of like those types of gardens. Like it reminds me of like the Japanese gardens in Seattle where you like pay and you go walk around. It's not pet friendly. They have really cool structures and features that you can take photos with. And uh, I'm just excited to see it. And hopefully there's not an event going on. I checked their website, it says no events. The only other thing I'm thinking is like how the heck are people keeping gardens nice and green right now? Because it's the driest of the dry. It's actually a little bit terrifying. Like all I see on my little alert system, I have like an emergency alert app, is just fires starting around us. And after what happened in Maui, I'm just like that easily could happen here very easily and there was a huge fire last night. We're actually gonna be over in that area. So it's been put out, but if there is any remnants of the fire, I might get a little video of it just so you guys can see like what it's like but yeah anybody in a rainy climate just be grateful <laughs> because this is horrible oh my gosh we're both wearing pink did you plan that nope. you wanted to match me <laughs> here's the outfit this is not a gunny sex dress my plan was to wear an authentic 1970s dress and i couldn't find one i have the red one that's not the 
correct brand, but the same style and also vintage and older, but it's long sleeve. I would have worn that today instead, but it's long sleeve. And so this one I got from that company Cider where I was getting a lot of clothes for my trip to Sacramento. I just did a big Cider order. And so everything I had on in that mostly was all from that company. And they're actually really nice. I love all their stuff, really cute clothes. And you can type in any genre and it'll pull up. So I typed in, I think I typed in, um, vintage dresses like vintage style dresses on their website and came across this maybe i did that or typed in cottage core but <laughs> i was just talking to a friend of mine lately recently and she said cottage core even just the term drives her crazy so i know that not everybody is into it and that they're sick of hearing about it i'm not so I'm just gonna keep rolling along with it. But this dress is really cute. It's pink and it has like this little design in it. You probably will be able to see it a little bit better when I'm outside. So I'll get some close-ups in it. And cowboy boots, cause that's the vibe. We're gonna go, we're gonna head out and we're going to get some smoothies. We're just gonna roll up to gather. Again, my second time this week going to gather and getting a smoothie. So blueberries, but with like all that like reishi and whatever is like good for. Just, do you want to just get the same thing? Yeah. Okay. In 1908, a woman by the name of Emma Alexander bought this property of Lakewood Gardens, but at the time she had called it Gravely Lake Shores. Over the years it changed hand of ownership, but all carrying the same love for gardening and the beauty of this waterfront property. In 1938, George Corden and Eulalie Wagner purchased the estate and the two loved hosting garden parties and strolling the grounds. After George had passed, Eulalie remained in the house until 1987 when she donated the entire estate to a nonprofit called the Friends of Lakewood, with a stipulation that an endowment fund to be raised, assuring the continuing care of the gardens. In 1989, Lakewood Gardens officially opened as a local venue for the public to enjoy, get married, host events, watch a Shakespeare experience play or listen to a pianist echoing through the halls out onto the lawn like a blink back in time. Mrs. Wagner stated her motivation clearly, and I quote, as we become more and more city creatures living in man-made surroundings, perhaps gardens will become even more precious to us, letting us remember that we began in the garden. Here's the little arboretum, the amazing pool, have a map that we shall explore. <laughs> Cowboy boots aren't really hiking, but we're doing it. Okay. Yeah, that looks more traily. <laughs> Ditch the map. I'm just thinking I want to see what this water's all about. in the gardens. That is neat. Somebody just pieced that together like that. <sighs> that is so cool. Gosh, I want to go swimming. This place is so cute. I just had to show the bathroom because look at how adorable this bathroom is. The wallpaper is amazing and the sink. Look at the sink. It is so cool. This place is a beautiful, beautiful garden and I would love to come back with each season and see how it changes. I'll update you when I'm not in the bathroom. We just arrived at the golf place so he can put some stuff together but this was a fire last night look at that 
you probably can't hear me, but wow. Good morning. It's the next day. We got back from the Lakewood Gardens. We were saying that Lakewood sounds like the kid from I Like Totals. It's got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. It sounds like that kid trying to say Lakewood. And apparently it means Lake in the Woods. Lakewood. It's like, <laughs> it just, Lakewood. It just sounds like I like turtles. That place was so, so lovely and so quaint is the word I would say. People can get married there, throw events, there's art festivals, there's little events that go on. They have a lot of plays in the park, like Shakespearean plays. Uh, this morning, I uh, just have on this dress. This is what I'll be wearing for most of the day. Yeah, it's gonna be a heat wave this week, so we're preparing for a lot of uh, staying indoors, cranking the air conditioners, and then I'm filling up, I'm filling up the pool. I need to make my coffee, so I'm gonna um, change into this dress so that you guys can finally see what it looks like on the final reveal of the thrifted vintage dress you've already seen the new now let's see the old and here is the dress isn't this the most lovely freaking vintage dress you ever done seen <laughs> I would definitely wear a slip underneath it so it wasn't so see-through, but love this so much. And I feel like it makes me look really tall. I love this bottom of the, the ruffling on the bottom. You guys know me and my ruffles. I'm a ruffle freak, but I love, Love, love the way that this drapes down at the bottom. There's something about it. Yeah, mega cute. I'm really glad I got it. It was about 40 bucks, but I do like the way the cowboy boots look because this little gold like steel toe situation is a nice little detail that pokes out and the snake skin's actually really cool. It is time to close her out. Looking like strawberry shortcake's mother. I am actually going to have my coffee sit down and edit this. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about, if you did know learning about gunny sacks dresses and I said that word so many times take a sip of water every time I say gunny sacks in this video but it's what it's about so that's allowed give it a thumbs up and give me a follow subscribe if you're not hit the bell let you know when I upload which is weekly and uh, yeah that's it I'll see you guys on the next video bye